Hey, what's up? Um, I apologize in advance. There's like a party going on outside my my room. Um, but I really wanted to um, make this video and get this poem out there to you guys because um, I freaking fell in love with it. Um, today in class we discussed temperament and uh, yeah, I reviewed kind of results from the Myers-Briggs type indicator that we took. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, um, look it up, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, this poem came up in our reading and I really just wanted to share it with you guys because it really resonated with me and I thought it was well said. Um, and I kind of wish that I came across this before I came out to my family because I probably would have sent this to them too. Um, but it's written by David Kiersey, who is a, uh, excuse me, a leading psychologist in the field of temperament and personality in general. His last name is spelled K-E-I-R-S-E-Y, for those of you who are interested in looking it up. And the poem is called, Please Understand Me, Roman Numeral 2. Um, it goes like this. Um, if you don't want what I want, please try not to tell me that my want is wrong. Or if my beliefs are different from yours, at least pause before you set out to correct them. Or if my emotion seems less or more intense than yours, given the same circumstances, try not to ask me to feel other than I do. Or if I act or fail to act in the manner of your design for action, please let me be. I do not, for the moment at least, ask you to understand me. That will come only when you're willing to give up trying to change me into a copy of you. If you allow me any of my own wants or emotions or beliefs or actions, then you open yourself to the possibility that someday these ways of mine might not seem so wrong and might finally appear as right for me. To put up with me is the first step to understanding me. Not that you embrace my ways as right for you, but that you are no longer irritated or disappointed with me for my seeming waywardness. And one day, perhaps, in trying to understand me, you might come to prize my differences, and far from seeking to change me, might preserve and even cherish those differences. I may be your spouse, your parent, your offspring, your friend, your colleague, but whatever your relation is, this I know. You and I are fundamentally different, and both of us have to march to our own drummer.